Hey, this is Alistair, and I'm here with one of my alters, Cloak. His full name being Joel Tanaka, aka Cloak Nightheart. This is the second time I'm doing this, uh, basically getting my old um, Meet My Alters videos that me and some of my alters put out back in the year 2020. I'm getting the old videos and me and the alter who made that video are dubbing over it in a sort of um commentary interview thingy well last time was matsuri this time is cloak so yeah here we go who are you greetings my name is cloak i first debuted as an alter in the vukusen system in the year 2001 I'm a human. I'm 45 years of age. My gender pronouns are he, his, and him. Same deal as last time. It's gonna happen every time with these videos. But, you know, since me and Cloak are two alters within the same system, obviously that means we cannot ask questions and answer questions, you know, in real time type thing. I asked the questions yesterday and i just copy and pasted them to this video uh cloak answered the questions today <laughs> i copied and pasted his answers in and now i am recording my little responses to his individual answers right now so yeah these were all recorded at different times they were not all done at once i just am threading them together so that it comes off that way yeah which alters are your favorites? That isn't exactly a fair question to ask me, considering many alters within the Vukusen system are actually my family and or my friends, or even just associates that I get on with. So, I suppose the proper answer to that should be to prioritize my intermediate family, my my children, my father, my stepmother, my brother, uh, no, just no. What? No? The hell you mean no? Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah, he's right. Cloak's got a lot of alters who are actually his family or his friends or just people he knows. Like, uh, two of them are his kids. You know, he already mentioned he's got a dad, a stepmom, a brother. He's also got, um, you know, a niece and nephews and, um, step siblings and <laughs> friends and the people who hate him and Jeebus, he's got a lot of people who know him <laughs> okay uh cloak's been around for a long time he's kind of an old alter he's not the oldest out of all of us obviously like there there are um other alters who've been around longer than him but he's still he's been around for like a really long time he's been around longer than me <laughs> so and i'm the host of the system which alters are your least favorites? I have far more enemies than I myself am even aware of. Plenty of people despise me whom I have no idea who they personally even are. So, I believe the answer to this question is also no. Alright, I know I said that we recorded these at like different times and whatnot, but I would be lying if I said that I did not see that coming. Like, obviously, if he said no to the last question, then he's gonna say no to this one too. I mean, they're, they're pretty similar once you think about it. Who do you like the most? Who do you like the least? Uh, I'm just glad that Matsuri was able to give me an answer to one of those questions, but so far these two questions in particular haven't been too good to ask. I don't know though, maybe it'll get better with the other alters who I ask. Everybody's different, you know. 
How do you contribute to the Vukasin system? My initial contribution to the Vukasin system upon my arrival as an author was simply to endure, endure the pain that our physical body was suffering through, be that physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, psychological pain, spiritual pain, it didn't matter. It didn't matter what kind of pain it was. It was far too much for our system to cope with on its own at such a young age. I've been around for quite some time and other altars have arisen since my arrival and other altars have taken on the burden of what my contribution to the system initially was but that doesn't that doesn't erase me that doesn't mean I don't deserve to be here anymore that doesn't mean that my job is officially over just because others have helped out everything that I'm telling you it just means that I'm not out nearly as often as I once was. True, true. What he's saying is definitely true. Yeah, um, just because you start off with one job when you first become an altar in uh, these kind of systems, I'm not going to label it as DID because it could be DID, it could be OSDD, it could be whatever the freak disorder. I don't know. It's just a disorder where I have multiple alters and we have weird amnesia barriers due to early childhood trauma. But the funny thing enough is there are multiple mental disorders with those exact same symptoms. So until I get a therapist who actually knows or you know what they're talking about then I'll, I'll never know I'll never know what this is and it's real unfortunate because you know I did go to therapy so many so many so many times but I just kept landing with terrible therapists who didn't understand you know, didn't understand stuff like what transgenderism is, how to tell if somebody actually has DID or not, and uh, clearly an autistic person who has a chronic depression and a crippling anxiety. I got all of these fucking problems that a therapist should be able to take care of or at the very least, you know, uh, help me cope with or something like that. <laughs> it's probably the reason why I have so many fucking alters if we're being honest here. Have you changed at all since making this video? Not that I'm aware of. No, I don't believe I have. In fact, I believe I'm one of the few altars within this system who's remained rather consistent. Um, I was watching some of my old private videos now that I'm back in my old YouTube account and mm, <laughs> I've clearly changed a lot since then you know since my integration the one with old Alistair and Chishio I had no idea just how fucked up Chishio actually was I don't know I get like I understand that when two altars integrate you're supposed to the new altar is supposed to have the memories of the two altars who integrated and I do remember old Alistair's memories very clearly and I do remember a lot 
of Chishio's memories, but apparently not all of them, because there's some stuff from Chishio's past that honestly, it made me think, God damn, was I actually like that? What the hell? And it's a little upsetting. It's a little scary even because, yeah, I, I got no idea how this amnesia works. I, I thought it was a thing of, oh, I'm just not going to remember what other alters remember who I did not integrate with and I was not Kokon with. And there are even memories from alters that I have integrated with that my mind has repressed apparently because if it weren't for the fact that it was recorded and I literally watched it I would have no recollection of some of the shit that has come out of my mouth from Chisho specifically what was your favorite part of the video? I rather enjoyed stroking that black cat and the fact that she had stayed by my side throughout the entire making of that video it's a bit ironic what her name wound up being. Yeah, that black cat's name is Olivia. And the funny, or as Cloak put it, ironic thing about that is that um, Cloak actually knew a girl named Olivia. And she has nothing to do with this cat, by the way. And whoever named this cat also doesn't even know who the girl Olivia is that Cloak knew so it was just kind of funny considering he had history with a girl named Olivia and then he ended up uh, getting on real nice with Olivia the cat <laughs> yeah so I think that's what he was talking about right so that's basically the end of this video sorry for ranting and sort of making it about me. I really didn't mean to do that. This video is supposed to be about Cloak and yeah it, it was just sort of relevant what he was talking about. Still wasn't cool of me to do that but I do appreciate you checking this video out and please uh, I know I said Chishio has a past but as it is Chishio is me now. Old Alistair and Shisho integrated and became me. I'm not the same person that I was when I was Chisho. I'm not the same person that I was when I was Old Alistair. I'm just me. Cloak is apparently the same person he was four years ago and good on him I guess because whatever he was fine back then and he's fine now. We all have a past. You know we're constantly changing all the time every day doesn't matter if you got alters or not. People don't stay the same. I guess in Cloak's case, he stayed relatively similar to how he's been. But yeah, even he's changed up a bit to a certain degree. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.